This video shows part of our ride to Tumut, which features some beautiful scenery. Tony and I were joined by David on his 1250 GSA and Renee on her 850 GS. We left home and rode to Burrawa for a pie and a coffee and this is where the main part of our ride would start. This is suitable for all riders who want to enjoy some amazing scenery, experience some very interesting areas on mostly fast surfaces. In fact, beginner adventure riders would really enjoy this stunning ride, which really only has one gnarly bit over the next 160 kilometres. So from Burrawa, we're heading out to Copperbella Road, where the real fun starts. Now we follow on Facebook Open Gate Photography, who recently posted beautiful photos of riding in this area. So we thought we would head out and see how much of the area we could experience on our way to Tumut. Beside my chin mount GoPro footage, you'll notice that we're also using Renee's handlebar footage from her GoPro. And unfortunately, my GoPro seems to randomly default to the wrong microphone. Rather than ride around, we thought we'd ride up the main street of Galong and have a look at the Galong's Royal Hotel. Finally turn on to Copperbella Road and this is the first road that we really came out here to ride. Other than being really dusty, Copperbella Road gave this feeling of excitement as you rode towards the mountains ahead. start off riding in the plateaus and as you near the mountain the ride starts to get a lot more interesting. Most of the surface is really good, pretty smooth, a little gravelly and just that bit of dust. Now this bit's interesting, around to the right becomes Cumbermurra Road and to the left, which we've taken, is still Copperbella Road and this goes through all the farmland so we have to stop and open about eight gates, open and close about eight gates or so along the way. In some areas the road's a little less defined and that just adds to the interest, it just makes it more variable so it's much better like that.
we usually follow the rule, the first person opens the gate and the last person closes. But yeah, David loved the gate so much, he did quite a few himself. and loved the scenery. Most of the rides really easy navigation too. We basically stay on Copper Bell Road and eventually we'll reach the Hume Highway. Naturally going through people's farms, there's going to be plenty of farm animals and this particular occasion there was just so many sheep running across the road, it was just amazing. If you're going to do this ride, which I'd totally recommend, you definitely have to factor in the gates, opening and closing around eight gates. David loved it, but uh, I found it a bit monotonous or tiring. When you ride ahead, you're always expected to stop and take a few photos. past the farms on Berramanga Road, which I wouldn't have. But this takes you to the Hume Highway, which you run for about 10 kilometers until you make the turn off on Riverside Drive to Jugion. We did a toilet and drink stop here before we turned back around and then did the section that I really enjoyed even more. From Jugion, we do the most amazing ride following the Murrumbidgee River before heading down to Agjungbilly, don't know how to say that, Agjungbilly, and then on the way to Wee Jasper Road and to Tumut. So we're leaving Jugion and turning on this Bandabo Road, crossing the Murrumbidgee Bridges, Bridges Renewal Program. Good, it's very still. Don't know how long it's sealed for. And then you've got a couple of options of which way to go. And we're going to follow the Mur Murrum Bidgey to the left. Still wrapping, still wrapping. the ridge Hopwood Road remains sealed Cow on the road beside the road is he here yeah. Riding the ridge. Dust in front of me. Renee, Renee's riding how I normally ride <laughs> on the tail, getting all the dust. Yeah, that's a dry creek bed, that. All the rain we've been having. I've missed out here. Oh yeah, 
there is honey. Oh, it looks beautiful. So still. All the reflections. Working out which is the best way through. <laughs> well, it's not that easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just did whatever I could, Tony. string along that's beautiful that looking river Bandavo. It's called Bandavo Road. Oh, we're on seal. Yeah, it's amazing how they seal it for a bit like in the middle as well they don't start at an end they go to someone's property I imagine seeing the trees reflecting on the still water of the Murrumbidgee was very distracting sheep this one's just ushering its lambs across. Bit of the same. Yeah, it's beautiful country through here, there's no doubt about that. It's a long river. Isn't the Murrumbidgee through Wagga? That's what they call the beach at Wagga. They made a house of hay back there. They put all the hay together, it looked like a house. What are you doing? It was absolutely lovely riding along here. over there camping. Just having a great time. Get cold overnight. Around 
this section you start riding away from the Murrumbidgee and eventually this road will become Nanangro Road. takes you back straight to Wee Jasper Road, I'm pretty sure of that. After changing yet another GoPro battery, it's decided to again default to the wrong microphone. So this is the southern section of Wee Jasper Road and it's in actually amazing condition. It's very, very dusty and soon you'll notice how much road works they've been doing on the road. This is one of the more recent bridge works they've done which has only been open for a short while. This bit was deep, loose gravel around the corner. I think this southern end of Wee Jasper Road is nicer than the northern part. It's more scenic, it's certainly dustier and a little bit glarier riding into the sun. Last 10 kilometres riding into Tumut is nicely sealed with some great twisties and beautiful views. We all really enjoyed this ride. It was a sort of ride that made you feel good. We did our arrival fuel stop before riding around the corner to the Ashton Motel where we were staying the night and greeted with a room upgrade which was quite nice. <laughs> 